Alberta, Canada boasts a diverse landscape encompassing everything from the Rocky Mountains and expansive ice fields to picturesque grasslands, vast plains, dense boreal forests, wetlands, and the arid badlands. Among these areas, one of my favorite destinations for exploring is the arid expanse of the badlands. Stretching eastward from Drumheller to Saskatchewan and south to the United States, this region is known as the Canadian Badlands. The early French explorers and traders to these lands named them Badlands to Cross. The indigenous to these areas had similar names for the terrain, referring to it as Badland or Eroded Land. They feature a rugged terrain of ravines, gullies, buttes, hoodoos, and various stunning rock formations. Many of these geological features were shaped by glaciers and the swift erosion caused by glacial meltwater. But some were formed where the ground surface is easily eroded, with sparse vegetation and infrequent but heavy rainfall. Today we are going to take a closer look at a feature that can only be seen from above, called the Badlands Guardian. Some of my favorite areas in the Badlands that I've explored you can see marked on the map. Let's zoom into this incredible natural feature that was first discovered in 2005 by Lynn Hickox while using Google Earth. The Badlands Guardian is a feature located near Medicine Hat in the southeast corner of Alberta, Canada, near the Saskatchewan border. At first glance you might think that this can't be natural and must have been shaped by human hands as the detail is remarkable. The feature strongly resembles a human head wearing a full indigenous headdress facing westward. It is a drainage feature created through erosion of soft clay-rich stratum by the action of wind and water. Although the feature appears to be convex, it is actually concave and is a valley. It is a great example of the hollow face optical illusion. Yeah, so let's look at the details here. There's a forehead down to the nose. And there's the eye, what looks like the eyelid, eyebrow. I really like the shadows really gives it that detail. There's the mouth. Down to the chin. Look at the shadow under the chin. It makes it look so lifelike. Down to the neck. And then up here would be the headdress part. So those would be the feathers. And what's pretty funny is a lot of people pointed out that it looks like he's listening to music with the earphones. So that's a road that's going into an oil well. Yeah, let's just zoom in here a little bit and just take a closer look at the details. Yeah, this looks so lifelike. It's really remarkable. That naturally it just had the right features in the right spot to make a human face. There can't be too many out there that look this good. Okay, let's zoom out here and get a wider view of the area. But yeah, I really like looking around in Google Earth. Sometimes I spend hours just looking around, seeing what I can find. It's things like this. It's really cool to see. And here's the area. There's probably more that you can find just in this area. Yeah, look at the terrain around here. We'll go up here and have a look around. And yeah, like there's one right here that to me looks like another face. Let's have a closer look here. But yeah, that definitely looks like a face. You can see the two eyes and nose. Yeah, all the features of a face right there. If I spent more time looking around, I could probably find a bunch of other ones. So it's pretty cool. Erosion and things like that just happen to line up just right to make an image that our brains can perceive as something. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different. Uh, exploring from Google Earth. But it's pretty fun. Just goes to show how valuable of a tool Google Earth can be. There's a lot of places in this world that you can't explore by foot. So what better way than to just bring up Google Earth and look around with satellites. Uh, you might be surprised what you can find out there. So anyway, that'll do it. And until next time, guys, keep exploring and I'll see you on the next.